Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome as well. Uh, if you aren't a subscriber, please um, hit that notification bell and the subscription button. And uh, hopefully by the end of the uh, video, um, you can hit the like button. All right, so tonight we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I've been doing some uh, various testing, um, trying to find a really good uh, Dutch pour recipe um, for both blowouts and like the chaos style uh, Dutch pour. I have a few, um, I don't particularly care for them, so tonight I'm going to try one out. I did one test earlier on a tiny 6x6 six six tile. Um, that's drying. I didn't tape that, but I thought I would tape this just, you know, more for my reference than anything else. But if you, you know, if it benefits everybody, then, I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and post it. If, you know, it turns out really well, then I'll definitely share the recipe. I have one more test that I'm going to do involving a a current recipe and just kind of tweaking it a little bit. So um, if I videotape that, I'll share that one as well. All right, I have five different colors here. Um, I Typically when I do this style, I try to paint the sides if I have, <clears throat> if I don't put a base coat down and I just blow all the colors out. Uh, so in this case, I'm not putting a base coat down. This is just a, uh, looks like 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. I buy like the multi packs when they're on sale just for this particular reason for like test canvases. Um, so that's what I'm going to use it for tonight is this test. Um, I thought this was a lot of paint to try to test on a small tile. All right, so that was Liquitex Basics Phalo Green or Phalo Blue. I can't remember. That is, yeah, phalo green. And I have two Pepeo colors. I have the I think, blue black iridescent. So I'm gonna put that on now. Um, not sure about this color combo, but I guess we'll see how it turns out. I mixed just enough paint, but I'm probably gonna have extra. And then I have Pebio Studios Iridescent Silver. I'm hoping for some good paint reactions with this new uh, mixture. I didn't add a lot of it to the color, so I just wanna kind of see how it reacts at the level that I have it added, and then um, go from there uh, maybe add some more I created like a little pouring medium with a few ingredients um, so we'll see how that goes this is Amsterdam's greenish blue I believe yeah pretty sure that's what it is and then I mixed up just a tad of Golden's interference blue I'm not gonna put a ton of it on here. Um, honestly, I don't even know how it's gonna react in this type of a pour, but we're gonna find out. And then I have just a tad of white that I wanna add as well. I'm not gonna put a bunch in here. I'm just gonna add it here and there. And then we are going to blow this out add just a little bit in the colors. Okay, let me grab a tissue. It's gonna be a quick video. It's really just laying the colors down and blowing it out the way that I want it. Um, I think I might wanna dab just a little bit more of this interference on here. Probably overthinking it, but okay, that's fine. All right, we're gonna blow this out. Actually, I'm going to torch first real quick. 
because I just mixed all these paints up a little while ago. All right. Okay. Get my hair dryer. spot here on the corner I need to touch up. I think I got good coverage everywhere else though. Maybe a spot here as well. That looks good. I think we're good all the way around. A little tiny spot there. Oh, I see two spots here. I'm going to have to reach in front of the camera. All right, let me grab that. I wish I had a, I thought about installing a mirror on the wall opposite me here. And that may happen here in the next couple of days. And I can't tell if I got that or not. I think it'll be okay. All right. Um, so hopefully this dries nice. Got a little bit too much white there in the center. I may throw down a little bit of paint there and go over that part. But uh, but yeah, let me bring you in for a close up. Let me see if I can turn this ring light off real quick. Sorry if I'm making everybody dizzy. All right, here we go. I think it turned out pretty good. I think I'm gonna just touch it up real quick and then see how it dries um, before I get too excited and uh, determine if I need to adjust the recipe. All right, guys, let me know what you think and uh, I'll update with a dry result. Thanks, guys. Hi, it's Christina here. Just wanted to come back and update the end with the dry results. I am super happy with how this turned out. It's really hard to capture how glossy the finish is on this. Um, hopefully I'm capturing some of it in the video, but I really, really like how this turned out. Uh, so my next step in testing this formula is I'm going to do a regular Dutch pour with these same colors that I mixed up, same recipe, everything before I adjust it. I want to see how it reacts uh, with just a regular type Dutch pour instead of the chaos type. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I may add it at the end of this video since this was so quick. Uh, or
where I may issue that as a separate one. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. Happy painting.